what we'll do, I'm going to ask, is there any amongst us here today, all, I, all we need is one volunteer, anyone have a dollar bill? You will get it back intact at the end of our gathering. Very good. Which, whichever one of you wants, I, what I'm going to do, I don't want to see the dollar bill. However, uh, I'll have you take the dollar bill. Very good. If you hold on to your dollar bill a minute, I'm going to bring you two envelopes, okay? And I'll ask you first to take, you want to see your dollar bill and place it into that envelope first. Just unfold it, put it in flat, and then close it and I'll have you then peel off and seal it. Once the dollar bill is sealed in the envelope, then you may say it's sealed in the envelope. <coughs> Very good, I'm going to hand you another envelope to seal that envelope. And as you do that, I'm going to get a piece of heavy duty tape. Please, have you sealed that? Excellent, the envelope is sealed. Then we'll take that and put it into a bigger envelope. I'll just have you slide it into there. Excellent. I want you just to observe as we seal that. And then we will Seal that. Yes, it is sealed. Any access to this? Hopefully not. This will be returned to you. Very good. Please, whoever has possession of this, please remember our colleague's dollar bill so that at the end he has it returned to him. Is that good? And let's see, we'll take this. And if I may, I'm just going to send it here and ask you all just to keep an eye on that and hold on to that. We will come back to that at the end of our lecture this morning. And this morning, we're going to cover two areas. We will cover somatoform disorders, factitious disorders, malingering. And then we'll jump from that to substance abuse issues. And um, uh, if I may, is it okay if we have just two minutes? Um, the envelope, please. We have the large envelope. Uh, yes, very good. If I'm going to come over, I'm going to... You've been watching it carefully, is that correct? It has been under your careful vision the entire time, yes? We're going to open the envelope. Drop down, I don't want to cut the dollar bill in half. Okay, there it is, I see the envelope. I don't want to touch it, however, I'm going to have you. Right. There we go. I'm just going to have you remove the envelope, please. Very good. And now I will step back. I'm going to ask you, and folks may gather around if they want. I'm going to ask you to open the envelope. And then I'll have you take that envelope out. I'll have you open that envelope. You placed a dollar bill into that envelope. Is that correct? Right. You put it in the small envelope, which went into the bigger envelope, which went into the large envelope. You all have been keeping that under your careful watch this entire time. Is that correct? You now have your dollar bill, which you will receive at the end of this, I trust. Yes? I'm going to ask you all to look at the dollar bill. What makes a dollar bill unique? We as individuals are unique because of our personalities. We just talked about personality complex and matrix and even personality disorders, which are coded on axis two, remember? The dollar bill, what makes it unique? What is its unique? personality is its serial number. And on that dollar bill is a serial number that you freely took out of your pocket. And we have a dollar bill with a serial number. Now, I'm going to ask you ladies, please, to focus on that dollar bill, to concentrate on the serial number. And 
Those of you near may gather to look at that serial number if you want, because I want you to get excited if we get this right, because as you concentrate, and there's a letter. Am I right? There's a letter there, and the letter that you all are looking at is the letter L. And then there should be a five. Is that right? My gosh, it sounds like OMM, L5. Okay, <laughs> somatic dysfunction at L5. And then there is a seven, and a one, and a seven. How are we doing? Are we doing okay? L5717. Six, five, two, six, and then there's a letter M. How did we do? All right, thank you. Please, we'll get to the end of that.